After that, that sound of the chimes from a church, which I don't really see one there. Oh yeah, it is one right here on the corner. No, it's not a church, I don't think. Yeah, it is a church. I never heard that before. So this is the capital waterfront area. Uh, this is actually another phase right here. I mean, it's still not finished. They're constantly building. But well, this is just another phase, and I guess this is going to look like pretty much that. So, let's see what we can see over here. Let's walk to it. Plenty of people. Again, this is a long way from what it used to be. Parking. I mean, this is Sunday. I was able to park in the neighborhood. I had to walk for maybe about 10 minutes, but that's not bad. Parking. I can see like $5 for a half an hour. $10 for an hour, $18 for one to two hours. So I guess it's prorated based off the number amount of time, but up to two hours, 18 bucks. And of course, if you're here for three hours, it's $24. Okay. never been over here <laughs> I've been meaning to come but uh, for whatever reason I just never had the opportunity or the time you know what I mean I, I said that I wanted to make sure that it was finished before I come over here but at least they finished with phase one and I feel comfortable enough that I can go ahead and check it out now and maybe later I'll be able to check you show you phase two so this is nothing Okay. This is nice. Okay. It's very nice. This is new. The boats have been here for a while. These people live here. And they've always lived here for many, many years. But how long, I don't know. So all this was pretty much built up around them. Look at this. This is nice. Now, this looks clean over here. Uh, wow. Look at this. I am impressed. I just remember the, <laughs> maybe 10, 11, 12 years ago, we used to kind of party over here. Um, but let's do a pan right quick here. All right, right over there is the uh, arena stage. Head over there across the uh, road on the other side of the street there. I guess these are all the uh, stores. Don't worry, I'm going down there in just a second. Let me just check out this area right here. I guess people are doing their own little uh, selfies here. Hope they don't fall off. I think that across the street is Haynes Point, I think. I think it's Haynes Point, which is still part of DC. You know, there are parts of the water sometimes you get and you find out it's Virginia, but yeah, I think that's still DC. This is nice. I assume it's 
Because sometimes you can probably find a fire at some time. Okay. Now, in the far distance, I think that's definitely the uh, Virginia. The white buildings in the far distance. So, let's do a little quick pan. Okay. All right. Again, these are houseboats. People live there. You can see the Washington Monument in the background. So, you know how close we are to the... Uh, to the Washington Mall and these are some of the stores and hotels keep in mind all of this was built like in the last five years probably the last three years but definitely the last five all of this right here and then they are working on phase two which will be on this side so you won't be able to see the arena stage off in the far distance right there so okay as you can see there's a, a kind of small local little cruise line well not a cruise, but it's kind of like a little local boat that takes you on little local trips up and down the uh, Anaco uh No, this is Potomac. <laughs> Not Anacostia, this is Potomac right here. Uh, okay. All right, let's go and check out the actual boardwalk. I'm definitely going to hit that on my way back. impressed with this area I don't know why I haven't been here sooner I will be back especially when it get warmer but I don't see a lot of shade so that means unless this area is covered that sun is gonna be extremely hot during the summertime so unless okay. again this is what a, a riverfront area is supposed to look like dc should have been this way many years ago i'm not sure what happened but it should have been this way many years ago i'm not sure why i just took up to recently to have something like this this water always been here so you know the baltimore harbor always had one for years i'm not sure why dc never had it i mean we have another area called georgetown which is kind of close to the waterfront but this georgetown always been kind of hip but this area we are in the southwest quadrant of D.C., by the way. Okay. They call this area the wharf, just in case you wanted to know. Um, used to be whenever we used to go to the wharf, it was just to go get some fish. <laughs> Not shopping. I'm definitely going to show you that area in just a few but whenever we used to refer to the wharf it was just pretty much to go to the area where to get seafood this is where they sold fresh seafood okay a lot of restaurants i hear it's kind of expensive over here i hear uh ben and jerry i'm pretty sure it's reasonably priced but this is not an area as you can see you will find too many well-known chain restaurants I don't think that's the intent oh, that's nice okay uh, they called it the district pier so I guess different pier Pier is called East Pier is called something different. So this is the East Pier. I should go. Let me walk fast, and I'm not gonna have you walk with me. I go to the end, see what's in this building, and walk out. All 
I, I'm not sure what this is. I guess this is a, I don't know if it's constantly open. Max occupancy. So I guess it's kind of like a little party area. I know it's not open to the public. I guess you can have events here, which is not a bad spot to have events. I assume. Oh yeah, beautiful private events. No problem. Let's take another pan view of this area right here. Let's go back to the boardwalk. Okay, so that is the anthem right there. That's where they have events. Yep. Yeah. Washington Justice. I don't know if that's an event or just a name. Out of Washington Justice. Is that? I don't know. Is that a game? I mean, let's get closer and see what's going on. Is that? I like some type of team. But I'm not familiar with the Washington Justice, so I don't know if it's definitely not soccer, definitely not football. I don't even think it's the uh, XFL. It's definitely not baseball. So, some type of event. There's some more places to eat, I guess, up in there. Yeah, it's like, um, I feel like I know what I want. Again, this is nice because it's March, but this can be extremely hot. It seemed like a nighttime location. Maybe one day I'll take a little time out of my schedule and come over here at night. Parking's gonna be crazy though. But I like to see what it looks like during the daytime. I guess everything is, I mean, it's kind of a small like theater and everything is always held here. Bands, local bands, events like this, whatever this is. This is the box office. I had these already. I also bought Let's see what's coming up soon here. Yeah, it's already Oh, Stewart. That's the only name I recognize on here. Oh, all the notes. Let's see who else. I don't recognize any other people here. Okay. Oh, okay. That's a nice little bar upstairs. It's another to the transit pier. Uh, Catalina. Okay. It's nice like a nice place to have a few drinks. Okay. Something to check out at night time, but I'm pretty sure it was probably crowded. People are having. Shake, shake. Sound like another hanging little place over here. I have to come back. Yeah, so if I was to get one, that's what I would Shake, shake, shake. Did I say shake? Yeah, shake, shake. Thought I said shake, shake, but I meant shake, shake. You know, some of the people you've seen outside, probably went down to the wharf, well, what I used to call the wharf, which is the sea crew area. I mean, this is at the end. Again, you had two reasons to come over here. You used to come over here for the club at nighttime. I mean, the old days, of course. Club at nighttime, and most of the time, you come out here to the wharf. This is what I used to consider the wharf, where you can buy all your seafood. Now, since I don't really eat seafood anymore, I still like coming over here just to check it out. Yeah. This is where you can just crab, shrimp, fish. This is where people go, district donuts. Okay. Okay, let's see. I guess it, people got some nice expensive places to live over here. 
Okay. All right. Ah, okay. I don't know. People know they're not going to get a parking space. But I guess these are probably Lyft and Uber drivers dropping people off. Let's see what we can find out here at the, uh, at the wharf. I mean, at the, uh, well, New Wharf. I used to come here and get my jumbo shrimp. That's the only thing I used to come over here for. It was expensive, but it was big and good. And you got a lot for your money, even though shrimp has always been expensive, you know? Half a pound is $12, okay. That's not too bad. Okay. And I'm pretty sure they didn't expect people to take these bags up there <laughs> and just start laying out on the table eating their crab. But hey, there's nowhere else down here to eat, so they should have thought about that, I think. I see people got, well, maybe they did, I don't know. Because people are not going to be able to eat down here. I mean, unless they sit right here and eat, which sometimes you want a table to eat at. Some of the places are still here. Jesse Cook Seafood still here. I haven't been here honestly in about 12 years. Okay. Just seafood everywhere. So if you ever need the seafood, crab, fish, scallops. Main lobster, but, uh, fillet, fish fillet, lobster, yeah. Look at that. Look at all this. Like a, like a market in a foreign country, you know? But the price is definitely say so. You smell it. Fish everywhere. You don't like the smell of fish, this is not the place to be. But it's definitely for me. It's definitely strong. But it's fresh. I mean, it didn't come from that river out right here, but it's definitely. Uh, I'm not sure where it came from, to be honest with you. I don't know how fresh it is and where it comes from, but it's fresh enough for people to come out here. You know? I guess most time people order it raw, I mean, but you can't have it cooked, I think. Or maybe not. Some of the stuff they cook and some of the stuff they don't. Yeah, I think... Well, I guess it depends on... I guess it depends on the venue. Okay. on this side we used to just drive up park right here park on the main street i mean this is all before <laughs> that <laughs> a massive building got here so look at that that wasn't there a few years ago i mean it used to be just different okay uh, again more fish more crab more lobster more shrimp more scallops more fillets
don't see people here, so this must be empty. Ah, this is where you can get your fish. We you can clean your own fish. At your own risk, of course. Doesn't look. Uh, what's over here? Okay, I don't think anything over here. I mean, if you go further down that way, that is actually leading to the Washington Mall. The uh, area where people, a lot of the tourists go. And soon I'll be showing uh, the flower vest, I mean, the cherry blossom festival, which is basically in that area over there. So we're not going there today, another time. All right, so. This is a uh, nice glimpse of the wharf. Ah, they call it just a fish market. I guess they gave it a separate name from the actual wharf. But this used to be what we used to refer to as the wharf. Whenever someone is going to get some fish, they always say, are you going to the wharf, the wharf to get some fish? How you doing? These people here are actually... You take it and just like a campfire. I've never been into marshmallows to be honest with you. It's <laughs> s'mores basically. So alright. Not a bad price. And I guess the uh three twenty five for one single, which is a nice size, I think. They're using real wood and everything over here. Okay. Okay. I wonder whose responsibility is to keep the fire going. I don't see anybody. Oh, you know what? Maybe there's someone right there. Yeah. All right. A few other places to eat. I'm going to try to check out everything while I'm here. I am coming back. I just... But I think next time I come back, it's going to be at nighttime, which means it's going to be more expensive, me, which means I need to either take the metro and walk, which is maybe only like seven, six, five minute walk from the metro. Well, ten max, but five minute walk to the metro. Okay. This music is, uh, I thought it was a small band somewhere, but I guess not. Pilot to compose, okay. All right, I got a few things on this side. Okay. Oh, it actually is a person right here. Okay, that's, that sounds pretty good. I guess I've been not safe too long. to the uh, parking area. I think, yeah, it is a parking garage downstairs. Okay. All right, well, I want to see where you have it. I don't think there's anything else I need to show. I mean, this is, again, it's in the Southwest neighborhood of Washington, D.C. Our main Avenue, show you the sign right here. Now Main Avenue also turns into uh, M Street, <laughs> so if you keep going straight, so, so you know. Main turns into M Street. Let's see if anything on the outside, I don't, I don't think so. There's a area for, I guess, running and bikes as well as the sidewalk and let me get back over here because people are running and nothing worse than getting someone's way when they're trying to run you know 
Oh, there's some nice dogs right there. Okay. Alright. Okay, let's see what else out here. I think everything on the water side is pretty much on the outside. I mean, with the exception of the CVS right here. Because I don't recall seeing a CVS entrance on the, the waterfront side, so. Donut, I mean, it's gourmet toast and juice bar. Okay, that's uh, got a hair salon here. Okay, yeah, juice bar. This is, if you live in the area, it's a nice little place to kind of get some breakfast, I assume. No juice bar. The prices look okay. All right. Under 10 bucks. I think there you have it. I mean, uh, there's a couple of, like a hardware. Hardware. Cafe. Let's see the small shops here. You know what? That's that's a good thing. Local businesses. I mean, maybe they offer them kind of a discount rate. I assume, or maybe not. Maybe they can afford this rent because this doesn't look cheap. But they don't have much in here. Look empty. Maybe they just open up, or maybe they used to be open and now they closed down. Well, that didn't last long. Yeah, it's a family-owned, operated district hardware and bike. Yeah, that looks empty. Uh, I think I'm not sure what's going on here. So it's a bike store right here, bike shop. Damn, man, that's closed too. Well, that didn't last long. I mean, how long were they here? I mean, I guess maybe they gave them a, a discount for up to a year, give them a chance to make money, and I guess business wasn't good. So, or maybe the rent went up right afterward. Who knows? So anyway. I hope you enjoyed this little tour of the wharf. Stay tuned for phase two. Again, thank you for watching. See you next time.